Hey everyone here from Tunnel Vision TV and welcome back to the Premiere Pro video series and uh, in this tutorial I'm going to show you guys how to create titles and lower thirds inside of Premiere. So first of all let's bring in a video clip. So I'm going to bring in clip number one and uh, let's say we want to add a title nice in the middle and um, let's create a bin first for our titles. So I'm going to right click go to new bin and I'm going to call this one titles. Okay, so now we want to create our first title. So I'm going to go to File, New, and uh, then I'm going to select Legacy Title. All right, so it's going to ask me to give it a name. I'm just going to call it um, Main Title, and it's going to ask you the width and the height and the time base. It's, I'm going to leave it all by default. I'm going to leave it default, click on OK, and it's going to give you this window where you can design your title. I'm just going to expand it or make it slightly bigger. And um, basically, you've got all these text tools, so I'm going to click on the T, and uh, then I'm just going to click somewhere in the video and you can now create your title. So I'm just going to call this uh, my movie and you can obviously click on the selection tool and you can click and drag to move that title around and um, you can go to this side and you can change the font. So I'm going to click on this drop down and you can change the font to anything you like. So if you go down here, uh, you can either just scroll on the side and choose a desired font. And you can also set the size so i can change the size here you can change the color okay maybe let's change it to something a little bit brighter maybe yellow and uh yeah let's scale it up so you're on the side you can align it so you can click on uh, center um, horizontally and center vertically that will center your title nicely and then basically once you're done with your title you can just close this window and uh, you'll see that you have a main title here in your project window so now I can drag this and just file it under my titles. All right, so let's say we want to bring it into our video. I can just uh, use it as a normal video clip. I can click and drag, bring it onto the timeline, and uh, there you have your title. So you can obviously extend it so it's across the whole video, or you can just make it so it's at the beginning of your video. So if you play that back, it will be there and then it will disappear. So let's say you want it to fade in and fade out. So it's exactly the same as using transitions on a video clip. So I'm going to right click on the start of that title and I'm going to choose apply default transition and I'm going to do the same at the end. So I'm going to right click there at the end of that clip, apply default transition. And now if I play this back, you'll see that the title will fade in and then it will fade out again. All right, let's say we want to add another title maybe underneath it. Now I can either go into this main title. You can double click here or double click here to edit it. Um, and then you can add some more text right here inside of this title. Um, write something here. And I'm just going to select this line and I'm going to make it smaller and maybe just center it uh, vertically. And then you can use the arrow keys to move it up. And that will basically just edit that title. So if you play this back, it will have all the transitions that you added on that title on that as well because it's all in the same title and uh, what you can do as well you can let's go into this main title I'm going to remove this sentence from here and uh, then I'm going to create a new title for that secondary line so I'm going to go to titles go file new and then we're going to click on legacy title uh, let's just call it second line and uh, then I'm going to type something here at the bottom All right, and I'm going to position it. Okay, close this down. And now we've got two titles. So now I can bring in the second title, place it on top of my main title. And uh, basically now I've got that on a separate layer. So as you can see, if we play this back, those transitions, the cross dissolves, it's not on that second layer. It's only on my main title. And uh, we can always add it on this one as well, just by right clicking and adding default transitions. So now we've got it on that as well. So the cool thing about doing it in separate titles, you can now go ahead and you can click on your second title, go to effect controls, and you can position this one uh, independently of your main title. So you can maybe move it to the bottom, move it there, and you can do the same with your main title. So you can click on main title, and then you can position it as you like. You can also go ahead and rotate it, and you can also change the scale, and you can also change the opacity. 
Okay, another thing that you can do is let's delete that and let's create a new title. So I'm gonna select my titles bin again, click on File, New, Legacy Title, and I'm just gonna call this Lower Third. All right, so let's say you wanna add the name of someone that's in the video to the bottom of the video, and you wanna make it look quite nice. So I'm gonna click on the text tool and I'm gonna type their name and their surname and uh, maybe also the position of that or the title of that uh, person. So it will be the title, uh, something, something, something will be there. And uh, let's just move this down to the bottom and I'm gonna change the font, maybe just do something nice and thin, something like that. All right, let's change the color of this title to black. So I'm gonna highlight it, go to color, change the color to black. And let's say we wanna add a solid color behind this text. So I'm gonna click on this rectangle tool and I'm just gonna draw out a rectangle like that. And I wanna change the color of this rectangle. So I'm gonna click on the color. Let's change it to a gray color. And I wanna move it now behind the text. But as you can see, if I move it over, it's actually in front of our text. So we wanna move it backwards. So I'm gonna right click on this rectangle, go to arrange, and then we're gonna say send to back. That will send it all the way to the back or to the bottom layer, and now I can see it's behind our text. Cool, so now I can set it somewhere around here. You can use your arrow keys to position it nicely. And let's say you wanna change the opacity of that box, you can do that as well. So if you have this box selected under opacity, I'm gonna change this down to 50%, and I can kinda of see through that box. You can see the video behind it. So I'm gonna close this down, and then I'm gonna bring in my lower third on top of my video. And there you can see we've got our lower third right there. And with that lower third selected, you can now go ahead and you can change the position, something like that. And uh, let's say you want that lower third only to appear uh, during a specific section of your video, you can extend it. Um, and now we can also add in a uh, transition effect at the beginning and the end, so it kind of fades in and fades out. So I'm gonna right click on the start, go to apply default transition, and I'm gonna do the same at the back. And now if we play this back, you'll see that it's gonna fade in and at the end, it's just gonna fade out again. So now I can go ahead and you can also scale it if you wanna make it slightly smaller and position it in the right place where you want to. And there you have your lower third. And that's how easy it is to create titles and lower thirds inside of Premiere. I'll see you guys in the next video.